Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. So today I'm going to be changing the speaker internal wiring on the Quad 405. So we've got one brown wire that goes to the right hand side and one that goes to the left channel. And then the two blacks earth onto this terminal there. So we've got to put a round connector on there, a through hole connector, and solder it to the binding post here. So I shall get this on the tripod, this camera, and we'll crack on with it. So first of all, we're going to be, have to remove this earth screw there, or we could just go to this screw at the bottom there. Okay. We'll leave the one on the top there and we'll take this one off here just falling down there which is fine i'll get that out that's that out just make sure there wasn't a washer there yep there is a small washer however that's gone it's in there somewhere That's it, that's out. Okay, so now what we need to do is we've got to make up. We've got to make up some um, some wires to connect through to here. Okay, so we've got a little spade, little round connector there. And we are going to fit our earth cables to that side of it <clears throat> which are the blue ones here which i actually made with a spade connector on the end with a um and um i got that wrong so what i need to do is to make up two new round connectors on the end here which i'm going to do now and then we're going to connect that directly to the to the black terminals of the binding posts. So first of all, what we're going to do is take our two cables here, our two wires, and twist them together because we want to connect it to the same the same connector here. This uh, round spade. I'm not entirely sure what you call that now, but I'm sure someone will tell me. <laughs> There we go, put that into there, twist that in. We want to crimp that in place there. Okay, we'll just do it with this. There is a crimping tool I have, but this works just as good. Just want to push that down nice and tight. And I'm going to run a piece of, I'm going to run some solder around that now as well, because uh, it's always best to, uh, do things double just in case anything ever comes loose and it's uh it's all nice and done properly so let's just get our soldering iron here just solder that up hold it on there for a bit Go. that's perfect <clears throat> and now what we want to do is get the quad 405 back up and then we want to we want to screw this in place but first of all we need to get the correct length that we need so we've got that there so now we need to just do so what I want to do is to get that through there but run it through the back here so it's not too close to the um, Actually, we can do it that way down, so it's down at the bottom there. You might not be able to see that on a photograph. I'll, uh, I'll measure it first, and then we can, then I'll show you how we're going to do this. So we'll come back to about there, give it, give it enough, which is fine, and we'll just chop that off, and then we're going to just have to reveal the wires underneath again there now with uh, a blade 
<coughs> which I've got here. So what I'm going to do is just to trim away these. Um, we want a fair bit because we want to sort of try to wrap it around the conductor there a bit, uh, around the uh, the binding post, I should say. So we'll just get that round there like that. That's it. I'm going to pull away this Teflon insulation now that I've put on there. Just a bit of that. It's always best to make wires longer and then you can then um, and then you can uh, then shorten them. There we go. Take that back there. That's nice. Now I had a comment about this job saying so, uh, it wouldn't make the slightest bit of difference. Now, I've done these rewirings loads of times, and I've always noticed a difference. So, but, you uh, know, some people, if they don't make notice a difference, they don't. Um, I wouldn't waste my time doing this if I didn't think it would. And, and, and to, as I said before, I don't make loads of money out of doing this. It's just a hobby for me. And I quite like sharing my hobby with other people. So, um, there we go. Just pull that off of there again. We'll take that out. Sometimes this is a... There we go. Just pull that back, get all that off. There we go. We'll cut that off there. There we go, so that is our, the earth side, the black terminals there, okay, and they go directly to that earth, and what I want to do, now what I want to do now is to screw this screw uh, into here, so I've got a very long electrical Phillips screwdriver here, Hopefully we can get that into there. Um, so what, we'll start like that and then we can then just pull the... Uh... Come on, get in there. Never easy doing these jobs, as I say, especially on camera. Let's see if we can go by, go on the bottom there like that with it. These long screwdrivers are a godsend. They work really well to... Hang on. Come on, you bugger. Get in there. So I've got that screwed in there like that. Okay, nice and tight now. So now what we want to do is we want to pull these around the back here. I don't really want it going too close to the to the two power caps there. Then what we're going to do is just tin the ends of these um, these conductors here. Bring up the soldering iron onto the side here. Remember, these videos are always, um, what's the word in there? Organised chaos. I am very unorthodox in my approach to filming these <laughs> compared to other people that have got great camera work and everything else so we've got to get these down under there now i want to try to push that right down there and now we've got to unsolder two of the uh two of the old wires off there 
it's going to be awkward to show you this on camera. Um, but they are deep inside here, so now I've got to try to um, see if I can desolder those off of there without touching anything else. So it's not going to be easy to do it like that. So what I need to do first is to just to desolder these two here because they're going to get in the way. That one's off. That one's off. So I know what sides they go to. So this is going to my right at the back here and that one's going to my left. Okay, so now we've got those done now, we can then go further, deeper down there. Um, to solder the two off at the bottom there, which are then going to have these blue ones soldered to them. That one's off. And before I burn any other wires or anything, any wires, let's just get down from the inside this way. That's off. Right. Okay. So that's off there. So what we're going to have to do is do sync with these wires here because they're all connected up. So what I'll do is afterwards I'll uh, I'll tie them up on the inside, and um, we'll just do that first of all, just to make sure everything works. Okay. So now we can come down here. Uh, well, actually, we might be better off just going straight with those, with these wires now. And we can come down and we can solder them in. So let's start with a furthest one first to the, uh... Now, I like to give it a bit of cable there. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to make it so, um... So far, or so, so tight, I'd like to give it a bit of slack. So I've managed to solder in the two at the bottom there. It was very difficult to do it on camera, so I've had to do it off of camera. But I'll show you how to do the top two. So here's the, um, from the back. So from the front, this is going to be the left-hand channel that I'm, uh, I'm uh, soldering on. So what we're going to do is just to pull that up and wrap that cable around it. And then solder it in place it's better off to wrap it round as well as soldering it do the two together it'll be so much easier or keep it there as well while you're soldering it there we go that's a nice connection there it's going nowhere so that's that one. So these are the old wires here still that we've got to do sank with after. We'll just, I'll probably just put a piece of heat shrink over the end of those so nothing's touching. Um, I mean, I really need to cut them out really so I could just chop them at the bottom there maybe and then stick a tiny bit of heat shrink over them because they're all connected up in here and I can't be bothered to uh, mess about doing that. So that's one on that side. Now the other side now is up here, so this isn't as far to go this side here. Um, but as I like to keep all these the same length, you see, that's the problem. Push that onto there like that, and then that's got to come down to there. So what we're going to do is just chop the same amount off there. And um, so we've got them both the same length. And then we can sort of take it over there and then come back on ourselves a bit with it. Okay, let's just do this the same here. Take that off of there. So we can, we've got enough to wrap around the, uh, the plug itself at the back there. Oops. Put that off a bit more around there. Okay. 
and undo this now again. Give it a bit of more of a. See, when you use a blade, you don't want to cut too deep. You don't want to. You don't want to damage the conductor. So we've now exposed the uh, the conductor there. So we want to just wrap it round here. Again, so we can get it nice and decent. So we can solder that in there without no problems going on now. Get another bit of solder. Plenty of solder on there. That is lovely jubbly. So we've got all that done. And all we've got to do now is just to tidy up these um, these wires, the old ones now. Um, got one there. Let's just try to get that back round there all together. And then what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll tidy those up and I'll be back and show you that. So I've tidied up this one here. I've just put a piece of heat shrink over the end of it and sealed it. And same with those ones down there. So they're not going to interfere. And the same with the other one on the other side. So all I've got to do now is to fit this back together. So here we have the 405 fixed up finally. I keep damaging my isolation table there every time I get it in and out. But I'll... Uh, do one of my fabulous repairs on it. Um, I'm not going to make any judgments on the sound quality at the moment because I need to run these cables in, although I can say it's sounding really good. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say so far. Well, you know, there's uh, it's just going to take time. It's going to be another 200 hours or so, maybe more than that, breaking these internal wires in. So while I was inside there, I stabled up some other, the interconnect cables, which one had come loose in there for some reason. So I'd uh, resoldered that in place as well. And it's all working brilliantly. So I hope you like this video again. Um, the filming is never brilliant on my videos, especially the... Uh, the close-ups, it's very hard, I do a lot of it on my own, my sons are not really interested in helping me do that, so, but, uh, you get the gist of how it's done, so all I've got to say now is, uh, thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to give this video a like, don't forget to press that notification bell, so you're notified each time I upload a new video, and thank you for watching, guys.